okay let's come to our SAP system so this is my development box so I am in transaction SEGW but let me show you one more time SEGW this is the T code if you can see you highlighted on the top press enter it will open the same screen now these are my OData projects so this all these have one OData service created so let me show you one simple one so this is the project OData project this has some data model that means uh, is you think uh, it like a, a function module where you have importing parameters and exporting parameters so in those importing parameters you have some types right so these are the entity types so in my uh, OData I have three entity types which says PO header PO item and some some header item combination so if I open this I will find that there are some properties properties are nothing but the fields just like in your structure you have fields same way the entity type will have some properties and here you see these are the fields or the properties if I double click on this line it will show me the details means what are the length what are the um, descriptions and the fields so and in this properties I have mentioned EBELN which is the PO number as the key similarly if I look at the another entity type which says PO item I will similarly have the properties and I will have the keys as well so these are the two primary keys of the PO item so whenever you create uh, an OData project so this is the order reporter ZGW underscore PO this is the OData project and you will have everything blank you will not have this OData model so in the practical session I'll show you how to create it so you can you assume that somehow you created it so you have this OData model also look into this implementation and then let's see this OData header so if you see this there are some um, tools or icons and then you have written create delete get get entity set and update so in in OData project whenever you see any set you understand that that is multiple set means it's like table and if you don't see anything you if you see just uh, entity type say PO header that means it is just a structure and if you see here PO header set that means it is a table so it can hold multiple so in OData we always deal with crude operations C R U D C as in create R as in read so you don't have a read here but you have get entity and get entity set so this both are R so read and query read is for one line and query is for multiple lines C R U U is for update so updating any existing entry and D is for delete so if you have to perform any crude operations we have to write code in in this methods so these are basically the names of the methods and when you activate your OData and generate OData so these classes get created so they are DPC and DPC extension MPC and MPC extension then this is a model and a service so DPC means data provider class MPC is model provider class so in most of the projects you will have to always enhance the methods of this data provider class so if I click here and I'll say go to a web workbench it will take me to the class so it's taking a while so I am here in the data provider class and if you look at the properties this in turn is the there is a super class GCL GW PO DPC so extension is a child of this class and if I double click on this class you will find that this class is again has a super class this one so this is the standard class standard and data provider class which is inherited in um, the custom data provider class and when you want to extend any method you have to again make code in the extension ext so I think I confused you let me come back again so whenever there is a need to enhance any method you have to always enhance in the dpc underscore ext not in dpc only okay it, you have you, you have to uh, extend in the ext so they sap has provided ext so that you you do not mess around with the dpc so you have to enhance this class now let's see how we test the OData. say we have a OData already created so we need to go uh, let's first check the OData service so you created a project so where do you find the service so you have to go to this t code so 
so i'll write it down here again for your uh, more visibility so it's i w f n d m a i n t service okay so if i click here so you'll get the catalog service catalog and then here you will find the o data service so i'll i'll check this guy po service because i want to test it uh, so i click it and then i will say scp gateway client so this is nothing but a t code slash and it, it is the t code which we ran is iwfnd g slash gw underscore client okay I, i'll show you the t code direct t code as well um iwfnd FND gw client it will open me the same bra same same transaction so if i just do nothing i'll just run this guy so this is the o data service so if i if you remember in this o data builder the name was zgw underscore po or ggw underscore po now look here there is a underscore srv so whenever a service is generated sap by default puts underscore srv so this is actually the name of your o data service so if you execute it you will see that there is an ok code of 200 that means your order is good okay so let's let's play around let, let me uh, put some some more features so you want to see the format in json model so you have to write ampersand then and and then format equal to json so if i execute this the same thing which you saw it will come in a json format so you will see that there are entity sets and these entity sets have three there are three entity set that is po header set po item set and po um po header item set so these are the three entity sets now if if i want to see pull some data using some entity set so i want to see what are there in the header so i'll i i just hit this guy okay entity set you can type in po header set but i use this, the buttons which sap has provided now I execute this so you will see that all the information for this PO header, whatever is there, code written, it pulls up. See, you get the PO name header, then company code, PO type. So whatever you were you had in your entity type, it comes. That was for first PO. Now this is another PO, right? So if if you just copy this URL and open it in your browser, you can do that too. So I just copy this, and I'll open our browser. I'll just go here and then paste it so, see the same information the po header po item so the front end developer usually needs this link so this is the resource for them so they, if you provide them this resource means from the server name and um, the port and then the service name they will they will figure out what are um, the entity types present there and they will know how to pull data from it see so look here all the data data here now come back to here say so i have this data now i want to see this data in json format sorry i have to click this you you, you always play this URL options okay i i like this so if you put json format and execute it look look at this so this looks cleaner okay if this there is no space so i'll go to the browser again and i'll just add the URI format in dollar and percent format equal to JSON is easy to remember and you don't need to remember also is there so you look at this so this is the first header information this is the second header information and third and so on and so forth so this is just um, some of the features which we can do in audit you just need to play around this T code so the T code I, I already said it is slash IWFND slash GW underscore client. So you come here with the O data and then start playing. So I always uh, use this buttons. So but once you are familiar with those buttons and names, you can always type in here. So I, I want to see the item. Okay. Item data. So it might take some time because there are too many items. So if you see here, the items shows up here item values this is uh, the pure number pure item and then the details and then i want to see that in json format is is format equal to equal to json 
I'll just hit execute see and then if if this you don't want to see here you want to see in the browser just copy that go to your browser and then hit enter okay I'm sorry I need to copy this guy I need to copy this guy because uh, SAP and the front end has different uh, so I need to copy this guy here so look, look at this so uh, this is in XML format and if you want to change it to JSON format you know what to do format equals to JSON and hit enter look this JSON is cleaner so if you want to read data or see or do analysis always look into JSON format